Yeah, it's true. Apple Pay can charge a supercapacitor. Who would have thought it? It's not the money of Apple Pay, but what you're using in Apple Pay is the underlying technology. And if you've ever wondered how your credit card, which doesn't have a battery in it, can transfer your data over to one of those readers at the supermarket, it uses something called NFC. NFC is 13.5 megahertz uh, radio signal. And so how NFC works is the chip in your card actually gets a little bit of energy from the reader that your card picks up, turns into a little bit of electricity where it can transfer over your payment details. We're gonna use that technology, and it's only a tiny little bit of energy, so you have to capture every little ounce of it and do it a bunch of times. And so people also don't realize is their phone is emitting radio waves all the time. And as you can see here, as I get close to this NFC antenna, every now and then you can see the light go off because it's picking up a little signal that your phone is sending out. That's not enough to do anything with, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn our phone into an NFC reader. And once we download that app, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make those NFC signals come a lot faster, which means we can gather more energy. We gather the energy by having a corresponding NFC antenna. That NFC antenna is gonna have a chip, it's called an RF to DC converter chip, which takes those radio signals from the antenna and turns it into DC power. Then we're gonna capture that power into a little supercapacitor, and that supercapacitor is gonna turn the motor on our airplane. Not a very complicated system, but if you're interested in wireless power, I used to work for the company that makes the chip. I did a bunch of videos on everything wireless power. They're up here, go watch them. I wanted to make something that you could be standing in the middle of nowhere in a field with just your phone and you had a product, a toy. I'm really like airplanes, so I tend to go towards airplanes that you could use your phone to charge up the airplane. I did make another airplane that was wirelessly powered and I brought it to CES last year, and this is what my boss thought of that. But that had a standalone transmitter and I wanted to get away from that. I wanted to have something that we constantly carry around actually charge the toy, if you will, so that you didn't need a, a something else in the equation. And so that's why I wanted to make this plane. So let's get started. Let's first make the plane. Just gonna cut up some balsa wood here and put it all together uh, and uh, try to get this thing to fly. Then I'm gonna add the electronics. Here's the NFC antenna. And instead of the light that's gonna blink, we're gonna funnel all that power to a supercapacitor, this blue little cylinder here, on a switch. And when the supercapacitor gets full, the green light will light up uh, to save it from overcharging. And then we can throw the switch and it'll turn the motor and we can fly for a very little bit of time. And super cool. So you may say, why aren't the toy companies all over this making toys that you can charge with your phone. There's small things you can do on some phones with headphones and whatnot and transfer power. But I think this is the first kind of toy that you can use to recharge from your phone. And the reason is it takes a lot of time. Here is a time-lapse video of me actually charging the supercapacitor. And in real time, it took about an hour. So that's obviously not a practical way to charge anything when you're out in the middle of nowhere. But the good news is in the future, hopefully we can put a lot more power through it and it can charge things a lot faster. So that was actually pretty awesome. I had a good time, I love building airplanes. I love being the first to do something. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe and we'll do more of it. Hope you learned something about your phone, about wireless power, and uh, maybe about airplanes, I don't know. But uh, see you in the next video. GoPro, stop recording. You did.